college student now is speaking out about a question she asked at an event for Senator and Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. The Grinnell College student says that a senior Clinton staffer told her to ask the senator about climate change during this event in Newton, Iowa last week. Well, the Clinton campaign acknowledged that the incident happened but would never be repeated. The student then spoke exclusively with our Iowa producer, Chris Welsh. I thought it was a, a great opportunity. I mean, she really might be our next president, and I definitely wanted to hear her. And I have been trying to go to as many things as I can. I went to the Harkin State Cry. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. And um, the Hillary campaign, like the student campaign, was advertising it on campus, and so that they would give anyone rides who wanted to go. And so you took so, a ride. So I got a ride. On the way over there in the car, they asked me if I would ask the senator a question. I said, sure, you know, I'd love to ask her a question. And when we got there, we were there a little bit early, they brought me to one of the senior staffers. And he asked me if there was any question I wanted to ask. And I kind of thought about it, and I said, yeah, um, can I ask how her energy plan compares to the other candidates' energy plans? And he said, well, I don't think that's a good idea, because I don't know how familiar she is with their plans. And then he showed me in his binder he had a piece of paper that had typed out questions on it, and the top one was planned specifically for a college student. It said, like, college student. When I asked him how it worked, he said, raise your hand. When, when she asks for questions, raise your hand, and she'll call on you. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know for sure that she knew in advance, but there were, like, 200 people there, and everyone was raising their hand. I was one out of four. That doesn't seem random exactly. Mm -hmm. What they had typed out in the paper, it said, college student in brackets. And then the question was, as a young person, I'm concerned about the long-term effects of global warming. How does your plan combat climate change? And what did you think of the answer she gave? Um, I mean, she definitely wasn't reading something that was memorized or scripted. You know, it was, she was really answering the question. And she answered it well and talked about her plan. But you would have rather asked the question that you came there uh, having already. Right. That's why well, I was really curious to see how her plan compares to other candidates as an, as an undecided voter, as I'm trying to decide who I want to be representing me. So looking back on this now, do you have a different opinion of, of her as the candidate? I mean, it's possible that all campaigns do these kind of tactics. I don't know. But personally, I want to know that I have someone who's honest representing me and I think the question and answer sessions especially in Iowa are really important that's where the voters get to they get to have like a real genuine conversation with this politician who could be representing them and they get to voice their concerns and something when you're planning the questions in advance that just takes that whole conversation out of it takes the voter out of it 